Hey, the average Joe here. Today we're going to look at our new updated HVAC solution uh, Revit add-in. What this allows us to do is to put our schematics that you create in HVAC solution, as well as the equipment schedules inside of Revit. And then we can also map uh, equipment and transfer the data from HVAC solution to Revit. Uh, and then create schedules using the Revit API. So a couple different ways to do the schedules. So now let's go to the HVC solution software. And if you recall in the HVC solution, we create schematics, uh, air, hydronic, steam, domestic, refrigerant, VRF controls. Okay, pretty much everything uh, mechanical, uh, con you know, design, build uh, engineers or design, build contractors uh, design. I'm going to come here to File, Open Example, and we have about 60 manufacturers under Equipment Selection here. We've integrated their selection into the software. We can design around and schedule and select their equipment. So here we have just project files, Cleaver Brooks there. I'm opening up a hydronic project. You'll see the boiler down here, some load, okay, up there in, in a building. I'm going to highlight all the pipes and come in and just show all the diameter, four inch. Obviously, if the load increases, we'll double it here. Okay, pipe sizes get larger, boilers, pumps, everything. And now when I come down to look at that boiler there, you'll see, do a selection, the CBLE 157% uh, unused capacity in the next 130. I know the dimensions and weights because I've done a selection of that and the electrical information. And all that is created in a schedule. I won't take the time to show you those in HVAC Solution, but those schedules now, once I go to Revit, uh, before I do that, I'm going to hit File and do my Revit connection. It's going to create a DXF of my schematics and schedules and then save my project. I'll save that here in the desktop. It already exists, so we'll copy over that. It's waiting to connect to Revit, so now I'm going to come back to my Revit project. And the Revit project, if you notice, when I opened it earlier, I already had a fire tube boiler and some pumps and other equipment. So now I just need to come in here and import the schematic. Okay. And if all goes well, that schematic should appear here. It's right down here in the drafting view. Then I'll come back to the add-in and import my schedules. Those schedules will come over as well. Uh, so any anytime your schematics updated in HVC solution, then you can just bring them back in here to Revit. Here's my schedules. That's of all the equipment. So I could kind of go in there and see the boiler if I wanted to see. There's Taco product, uh, alphabetical order. Uh, anyway, all the schedules are there. Now, next, the other thing we do with the Revit add-in is we can map equipment. So I'm going to hit that map equipment. So here's where on the left we have the boilers, the, everything that was in my HVC solution project, then items that I put in my Revit project, boiler and those pumps, which I showed you. So now I can say this boiler, that Cleaver Bricks boiler, is this boiler over here. So I've actually link them. I could say this pump is this one, link them. Then I can come in here and transfer the data. And now that data is, and then create schedules. So now if we wanted to go in and look at that project, uh, take just a minute here, the mechanical project. So there's the boiler. And in that boiler, you'll see we put all the uh, parameters and we identify what we put in there as HVC solution in that boiler of the data. Then those schedules down here will be down here. So a separate schedule was created. So these schedules, like I say, were created using the Revit API, which some guys like to do because they're more customizable. You can come in here and uh, customize the schedules where the ones that we automatically put in for you are in that drafting view and they need to be updated uh, in HVC solution. So that's just a quick overview of uh, our updated Revit add-in, uh, basically taking your schedules and schematics from Revit 
excuse me, from HVC solution and placing them in Revit uh, or taking the data and transferring that data to a, a 3D model of the, the Revit files that are already in Revit and then using the Revit API to create those schedules. Hey, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.